in my last video, if you watched it, I went prom dress shopping and it was like my first time actually shopping for a prom dress because I made my prom dress last year and this year I wanted to buy it because I felt like it might be easier, but I ended up not liking any of the dresses. They were either way too expensive, only fit in like certain places or were really tacky. So I decided that I'm going to make my prom dress this year again. This is just going to be like the process of making it, like going shopping for the fabric and sketching and putting it together. So, yeah. So right now, I have like this gold to go over this like very shiny red. And I was thinking this could be the skirt and then either have like a matte black bodice or a matte red bodice and then I also found this brocade that I really like and I would make like the skirt out of this and like have like a solid color bodice but I really like this fabric I feel like it looks very rich I wasn't planning on buying fabric today but I think that I really want to go with this and the red combination the problem is is that the gold is $40 a yard but it's 30% off today so I think I might end up going with that combination so I want to buy it today so that I can get it on sale but I don't know like how much I need and I'm just standing around trying to figure this out it's fine all right so I just got out of school and I'm back at Joan Fabrics because I'm coming to get the gold fabric today my mom ended up finding a coupon for 40% off which I had yesterday but she got another one that was $10 off feel like I should just get it now while I have the coupons because they expired today anyway so that's what I'm doing I got the fabric. One sad thing is that I could only use one coupon, which was really dumb because I don't see why I can't use two coupons. I didn't get the $10 off, but it was still cheaper. So I can use the $10 off for more fabric, but I think that one might expire today. So if I go home and do measurements really quick, I could just drive all the way back out here and get more fabric. Right now I am getting like the measurements and stuff and I'm going to be doing a rectangle skirt and I think it's gonna all be red. And hopefully this doesn't exceed $150 because I would never spend more than $150 on a dress anyways. But the gold was already $61.30. But that means I have $89 left. I already have all the tool I need. Hopefully the boning won't be too expensive. Lining normally is pretty cheap. And the red is on sale right now. I'm probably going to go back to Joann's again, second time this day, and see if I can get a good deal. I am back in the car and I am on my way to Joann Fabrics to get more fabric. So... I'm excited, that means I can probably start sewing tomorrow, or at least getting everything cut out, but I might even start tonight, who knows? I'm debating between these two. This one's a bit shinier, and this one's like a little bit, it's like shiny, but like more matte. But this one is a lot more expensive than this one. I just found this one. This one's $5 a yard, and this one's 15. I feel like the quality of this one is better, but if it's just the like underskirt of the lace, I feel like this will be fine. I have this over like the $5 fabric and I really like it. And it doesn't look good with the red because then it looks like two different shades of red, but it looks good with the black. So I think I'm doing a black bodice with this skirt. So what I was thinking if they don't tie in that well is I could always come back and get like maybe like a few inches of this fabric again and like put it on the black to tie into the skirt. So I'm home and I added up how much my prom dress is so far and i don't think i have anything else left to buy so the total is 114 dollars and then a few cents so it was under my budget of 150 dollars i think that's a good price for a prom dress just finished gathering both layers of the skirt right now the gold is shorter but that's okay because i'm gonna have to hem the red anyways in progress but it looks really pretty but i'm gonna go to bed now because i've stayed up and i have school tomorrow Today at school, I came up with this sketch, my final idea. Before, I was going to do kind of like a corset top, but I didn't really like the idea of that. So, this is my new idea, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make the top black or red yet, because I don't know what I'll like more. So right now, I have like the top kind of draped. Like, that's not really what it's supposed to look like. I just didn't want to like cut the fabric up yet. See, it's supposed to be more like this. This is just to like get an idea of the colors together. And this is what the red looks like. Sorry, my basement is unfinished. It's kind of messy. I'm just taking a video to kind of get a feeling for it. I might end up doing black because I'm not sure how I feel about this. Also have this option with the black top, a red 
waistband and then the skirt which i don't really like this one at all this is just not working for me it is a little while later and i have both of the stra or both of the i guess boobs done this is not attached yet i think i'm gonna go with this i need to cut some of this out to cover the red because i don't like how the reds are different it looks kind of tacky and i might also bring these in a little bit more to make them pointier because i don't like how round they are this is the back too so you can see the back everything's just kind of pinned up just pinned it so you can get like a better look for it and this is the dress so far it's actually like a while later it might even be like a week or something later but haven't been working on my dress like barely at all because i've been pretty busy actually but right now i'm just working on the hem i have to cut four inches off of this i got the zipper in but for some reason it won't zip up all the way like it gets stuck at where the seam is between the skirt and the top and that even happens with like store-bought dresses like when i was trying them on there was one that i could not get past that part and i think it's because so much fabric like gets sewed in at that part it's just a lot of like tension and it's very hard for the zipper to go up so i have to figure out how to fix that i still have a lot of work to do i just finished putting the lining in i think it looks pretty good only thing i messed up on is when i was sewing the boobs on this part got a little bit messed up but i'm not going to take everything apart just to fix that so that's gonna just stay there um one problem with the lining is that somehow it ended up way longer than the actual fabric so i'm gonna have to hem it again which took a long time so that's annoying but it's coming along i feel like i might like it if i have more volume on it like in the picture i drew it's a lot more like it has a lot more volume so i think i might use this tool that i have and add some volume to it I don't know how many times I just said that, but I don't want to do it tonight though because I need to go to bed. I have all of my tool here now. It's all gathered. It kind of looks like a whole bunch of tutus all in the pile. So now I think I'm just going to measure out a certain distance, make a line, and then pin it on and sew it all on. I might have to make more tool though, but I'm going to see how far this goes. Finished putting all of the tool on. I did start to run out of tool. I used the entire roll of it. See, there's this small, tiny gap without any tool, but it's in the back, so I'm not worried about it. Um, and it actually looks really great, adds a ton of volume. I have to sew it on now. Last night, I finished hand sewing my invisible zipper, and it looks very good to me, at least. And I'm going to add, like, some clasps to hold it together because the zipper just won't go past this seam. And I was about to start on that. And then this happened, so I have to re-sew that in there now, but my dress is being so close to being done. Little things keep happening, it's very frustrating. Mm -hmm.